We have the ability to ensure that all rivers can reach the sea, that lakes stay healthy and floodplains fertile. We just have to allow fresh water to do one thing, to flow. As it flows, fresh water creates an unbroken cycle across the globe, through the air, across the Earth's surface, and even underground within rock as aquifers. Throughout its journey, fresh water provides three crucial functions for life on our planet including us. Firstly, everything that lives on land, from plants to insects to ourselves, needs fresh water to survive. Secondly, rivers, lakes and other freshwater habitats provide a home for millions of creatures. Finally, as water travels around the world, it carries sediments and nutrients. These form the basis of entire food chains, shape landscapes, and fertilize the places we now farm. All of this can only happen when the freshwater cycle is intact. But we've treated freshwater as if it were a limitless resource, part of an unbreakable system. We've peppered our planet with over a million dams and barriers, blocking the flow of thousands of rivers. Even worse, we've extracted more water than the natural cycle can replenish. Currently, humans use over 10 billion tons of fresh water daily. We transport water from where it should be to wherever we want it. We've turned torrents into trickles. When flow is lost, the entire freshwater cycle breaks down. The repercussions are devastating. Rivers dry out, fish stocks plummet, crops fail, drinking water disappears. Our impact is so great that freshwater wildlife is vanishing faster than that from any other habitat. Our challenge is to restore freshwater systems and ensure that everything we do with freshwater allows it to continue flowing. We can start with optimism because we are at a pivotal moment. For the first time in history, it's becoming cheaper to use renewable energy like wind and solar than to build mega hydropower dams. As a result, nations are investing in these green energies which don't force out communities, flood pristine forests, or block the river's flow. Some dams, however, may still be needed in the future to help us extract and store our water. So let's choose the best location to place them, avoiding main river channels and only where they'll cause least impact to natural freshwater flow. As for our existing dams, wherever they are not functioning or unrepairable or dangerous, we should remove them. The majority of dams, however, will remain, but we can reduce their impacts on freshwater flow. To do this, we need to replicate nature. All rivers have periods when the flow of water is greater. Freshwater pulses caused by meltwater or seasonal rains. We can copy these natural pulses by letting dams release larger volumes of water at the right time. These pulses trigger fish to spawn, disperse sediments and nutrients, and create the natural floods which make wetlands and farmlands so fertile. For many dams, with this single action, we can help freshwater flow more naturally 
and that will benefit us and our planet. We should treat fresh water like the finite resource it is. It's more precious than gold. Agriculture and industry, which together use around 90% of all the water we extract, are transforming. Efficient, smart farming can use less water whilst increasing production. We can also choose to plant the right crops in the right place instead of transporting water to where it's scarce. We should ensure that any water we save is returned to the river to safeguard the natural flow. Technology is also helping industry to use, clean and then recycle water back into their system. This circular process can reduce pressure on natural flow, save companies money and even generate clean energy. We put enormous pressure on our freshwater systems, but they still have the ability to surprise us. Given the opportunity, they can recover faster than we had ever expected. So just imagine the future when we work with the freshwater flow and not against it. Our rivers, lakes and wetlands and the wildlife in them can become healthy again. The seasonal pulses will benefit us once more, fertilising our farmland. Our freshwater fish stocks will flourish. In that future, even our cities will work with fresh water. They can become like sponges. By building green walls and roofs, permeable pavements, and by restoring riverbanks and wetlands, we'll help protect cities and the billions of people who live in them against flooding. Even better, we'll have more wild spaces and we'll help bring wildlife into the heart of what most of us call home.